Hello, YouTube. Today we've got a very special video. The Toontown and Corporate Clash Trio Pace Setter Clear. Now this was actually from a couple months ago, I believe. Yeah, two months ago. This was done by my good friend Claire. Thank you so much for letting me use the footage, but more importantly for getting this absolutely bonkers insane run off the ground. Uh, that's what we're going to be watching today. We're going to be reacting to it, looking at the strategies they use. Yeah. Now, if my voice sounds a little bit different today, I am sick. Nothing too major, but uh, I took a COVID test, thankfully. Not that. Uh, you can see here, turn one, they go for the Forge Pass. Normally, I would say Forge Pass is not an ideal strategy because you're not really going to make use of that extra turn of cooldown. But this isn't, you know, the normal circumstance. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, they get the squirt off. They get maybe these two drops off. Oh, yeah. Both of them hit for a crisp, cool 11.665. Um... Now, getting Pace Hitter down to Content Sync range is probably going to be the most important thing for these first four turns, really, because they pass the first one. Lore Rush Shop, absolutely what you want to see. That is the most perfect thing you can get. It guarantees whatever lore they're going to use. Uh, I would probably use Presentation here. It guarantees that lore. They just get some throw gangs onto the boss himself. These cogs, even, are pretty low level. Oh, I shouldn't move my mouse because the YouTube video. These cogs are, you know, a pretty decently medium level, no EXCs. They're all cell bots, which are pretty easy to deal with in Clash. You got that damage in. Already two out of four rounds, and he's at 11k HP, nearly. Uh, that's, ooh, trap rush job on the boss. I mean, it could be a little better, but the fact that it's on pace setter himself is perfect RNG. Uh, makes me think, is RNG going to be a huge factor in this run? It probably will be, I assume. I mean, <laughs> for a regular, you know, four-turn fight, or four-player fight, RNG is a pretty big factor. Uh, so I'm going to have to assume it's going to be a big factor for this absolutely insane three-person run. Got the two drop gags, but uh, got the trap in for a pre-setup, pre-trap setup. And then another lore rush job. Yeah, I mean, that's perfect. That's absolutely what you, what you want to see. I wonder if they're going to go for, like, lore, tune-up, maybe, like, a drop or a... Well, you can't really go for throw, because it's not content synced yet, but maybe, like, a lore, tune-up, drop would be a, a good thing to go for here. Oh, two-drop. All right, they're just going straight in for it. The lore guaranteed by the lore rush job. Get that trap off. Absolutely huge. Yeah, there you go, 9.5k uh, HP by our turn 4 with 3 people and with the turn 1 pass. Absolutely bonkers. Now they got a sound rush job here, but this is the content sync turn, so... I mean, let's see what they roll into. If they're lucky, they're gonna get a lore reset with sound. And they do. <laughs> Easy as that. Uh, throw? Throw? I don't know what the what the throw is for. Now, oh, I guess they're probably in voice chat because they're not talking in game. There's no like text, so I assume they're talking to each other on a Discord call. Uh, I assume some shenanigans just happened there where he said you should probably use lore, which would be a good idea. Yeah, they got the lore reset off perfectly. That was not a guaranteed lore actually, but it got off without a hitch with the sound stun, which is. Always a funny thing to say that sound stunned for a lore. Here we've got the throw rush job, and we'll see if they go for the lore reset here. Uh, no. Oh, uh, the encore boosted trap setup. I guess that was more valuable than blocking this. Yeah, I mean, it's just one cog. So they don't really need to lure as aggressively as you usually would, because they really need to get damage in. Um, but they are getting, they, that was a pretty lucky one. They got another throw rush job on that Hollywood. Um, the strategies are going to be really interesting for a trio run. Um, I want to see if they go for conditioning. Yeah, it kind of seems like they're going, like, just the cake slice on that guy. The lore reset here. Um, seems like they're trying to not 
kill this Hollywood outright, but also I guess probably uh, resource management is going to be super important for a... Oh, there's a Unite. Resource management is going to be super important for this trio run because obviously they have an entire tunes less worth of, you know, your high value level 8s, level 7s. Yeah, they are killing this guy for a more defensive play with this zap here, so they don't have to go for another lure. They went for another uh, Encore TNT. Love to see it, obviously. That's a big, what, 390 damage. Uh, the drop on this guy would be bad because of lore. Uh, yeah, but Content Sync just happened. Now drop is really early on, actually. So, not a problem. They keep going for these lore resets, which is what you want to be doing. That also cycles your Encore boosts to get the most out of your limited resources, so that's another huge plus to going for these uh, these sound resets. And now Claire's probably going to go for a trap on Pace Editor, because someone has to, and Claire's got Encore. Oh, our first Lawbot of the fight, I think? <laughs> first non cellbot I should say. Ooh, Encore boosted, marked boosted TNT this early on. Let's see it. 429. Beautiful. Ah, uh, the Zap Rush job. Now, Zap Rush jobs are obviously always going to be a bit of a sticking point. Uh, but it seems like they're going to go for it just straight up. Um, oh, I didn't see. Is Zap going before... Is Zap going be Yeah, Zap's going before Lore. Uh, that one level 16 is unloring. Yeah, but they pop all Unite all for it. And he missed anyway, so... Uh, worked out for them pretty well. The RNG so far is pretty good. I mean, I don't think we've seen a single executive in this fight, actually. Come to think of it, that's pretty much as good as it gets. Um, drop, tune-up? Yeah. Tune-up is probably the right answer there. That guy, uh, Claire, actually, is above pace setter's kill range, but another cog, the Illegal Eagle, is on Lori. Um, not that it mattered, but it always could. Sound, uh, that guy's pretty low. I think this is a content, yeah, it's a content sync turn. If they can't get the sound off, no, they can. So, if they couldn't get the sound off, they could just kill that guy. But, uh, you know, lucky for them, they don't have to. Got a couple of kills there, not exactly ideal, but it's better than taking damage. More Encore boosted traps? <laughs> we love to see it. This RNG is so funny that trap keeps coming out after the... Oh, I would not. Ooh, a bit of a mistake there, actually. Wow, that's really interesting. Uh, the band cake use. Man, it's so interesting that they're... they're <laughs> the successful, I assume. Clash trio pace that are clear. The successful trio run, and they uh, got a little goofy little mistake. I mean, that's always a good thing to note. When you forge a gag in this fight, always take a second to just look. If you don't see what gag is banned in a track... And you forge a gag, it's probably going to be whatever gag you just forged if you have none of it. If you have no uh, reserve of that gag. Now the sound rush job, uh, hopefully someone can use a lore here. Actually, didn't, yeah, okay. Lore is available here. Um, that's a pretty good pretty good distribution. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Tune-up gags are going to be pretty potent for three-player. Uh, that's one of the ways that I guess three-player can be kind of easier. Because, like, AoE attacks deal 25% less to the entire group. And then you get these uh, higher percent or higher direct value group heals. Yeah, because we haven't really seen them use to, uh, tune up too much on this fight. But again, they're getting pretty good RNG drop on the pace setter. I feel like they've been getting a lot of gags onto pace setter himself. They can't go for the lore reset here. Unfortunately. But they they get the attacks off. They lure two of the cogs. That's basically as good as it gets. Uh, yeah, they had to pop off that Unite there. I mean, Unites are no resource uh, when it comes to a fight like this. Uh, ooh, uh, you can't go for the Squirt Kill on that Big Cheese. Yeah, they're going to have to go for the Squirt Zap lure. Vegas is pretty low, but 48 is still above the... Insta kill threshold for pace setter. He only does 44 damage, which he just did actually right there onto Vegas. Uh, huge damage, but he survives. Um, 
drop, throw. I believe the Mingler is unluring. Oh, no, not at all. So, yeah, this is a... Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, they do need to go for that tune-up. But they go for Unite anyway. Uh, three cogs attacking here because they couldn't get a lore out that turn. So, that's probably a, a good uh, PSA for maybe get <laughs> four players in a run. Uh, unless you're trying to go for something like this. Yeah, uh, I think everybody's on cool. I think everybody united that turn. Uh, sound throw. Ooh, sound comes after lore. Yeah, you gotta get that throw in. That guy's too high for sound to just burst through him. But they do kill, I think, every other cog. Uh, just two of them. Big wig is a little bit, uh, living on a little bit there. The lure, obviously, always what you want to see. These guaranteed lures. Uh, throw, trap? Yeah, I would say trap's probably the right play there. Throw, boosted trap. Throw, encore, boosted trap, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, zap rush up on the boss, but nothing else. Uh, nothing else getting a rush up here is pretty ideal. Uh, yeah, that should probably kill that big cheese, so defensively, you're not really missing out on anything. That's why you condition your cogs. You just always get the opportunity. Yeah, because that guy's not conditioned. Actually, that might be the first executive. I haven't been paying close enough attention, but that might be the second one. <laughs> yeah, that guy's not conditioned, so they can't go for a just kill him uh, defensive strategy there. But they did just tune up last turn, so they get to use the lore this turn. Drop. Uh, yeah, that guy, I believe it was Vincent was right on the absolute minimum HP you're allowed to have before Paysetter can just one-shot you. Uh, letting, yeah, letting that one big wig unlore. Basically all they can do. Um, they really can't pick and choose. Is everybody on cooldown? Oh my god. Yeah, I guess everybody on cooldown. Nobody, nobody united for that. Um, ooh, that's a terrible, terrible lineup. But at least they did get off cooldown. Uh, but yeah, Claire and Vincent are off cooldown, so they're absolutely going to need to use that extra H, uh, the extra unites, because they can't lure here. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, so far the gameplay has been really good, very solid gameplay, uh, making the most out of what they have. Lure drop, Pacer is already trapped. I don't think this was even a content sync turn. But, oh yeah, actually, Drop was coming after Lure, but he's already trapped, so that's completely ideal. Big damage TNT with a big damage Drop coming in. Oh, and they bursted him actually pretty well into Phase 2, which is just going to make the fight a little bit easier. One single Lure rush job on the Phase switch? That's pretty big. That's a... The RNG's been great. I, I assume they've had to do... So many runs before they got RNG this good. Lore, throw, trap. And that's all you gotta do. <laughs> all you gotta do when the RNG is that good. Trap. What? That's crazy. Oh my god. Uh, they get lore reset here. Lore, sound, trap. <laughs> that's so lucky. Uh, they do have to get a Unite off. Uh, I believe they were... Yeah, I believe Vegas was too low. Uh, another trap. And then... At least something on another cog. Absolutely insane RNG here. They go for the trap, the lure, and the throw. And I believe throw was coming before. Oh, it was coming after. Which means the robber baron's dead either way. Oh. Oh, he tanked through that lore knockback. Uh, throw. Oh, my bad. Two throws. Uh, again, that number counter would tank through the, the knockback. Unless you go for something like that. Uh, minimize the damage you're about to take by killing that one guy. I mean, it was only number cruncher, so not an especially uh, dangerous source of damage. Sound squirt. Uh, the, yeah, they can do that. Sound squirt lore. Easy as that. Uh, you get RNG this good, and I guess you can... Uh, you get RNG this good, and I should say, you play this good, and you can trio pace setter. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful to watch what they're doing here. Squirt, trap, lure, and yeah, that <laughs> even still keeps blocking him. Ooh, and now Vegas is at 48 laugh again for the second time this fight. Uh, sound, tune up. Ooh, 
the sound was coming after? I'm not actually gonna... Oh, yeah, sound came after lore. Very unfortunate. Um, but that's just what you gotta do. Uh, does anyone die? Just a spin doctor. I mean, spin doctor is not a bad kill. Uh, we do got... Yeah. One, uh, two people were off cooldown. Now it's just one person. Now it's just Claire. Uh, yeah, now we can squirt zap, even. Uh, I would think you would go for a tune-up on that turn, because it's pretty free. But a uh, big damage zap right there. You gotta go for another zap. Hopefully one that will kill that... Ooh, that's not lucky. Yeah, but you can kill that drop guy. Um, they could have. Man, that's so weird. Um, that seems like a bit of a misplay, even. They could have zap killed the drop rush job and and then lured. Uh, unless zap came after lure. Well, they still would have gotten a kill. No, they could have lured right there. Oh, but this is a pretty complicated rush job. Sound trap throw. Luckily, not with too many cogs in the fight. Yeah, you gotta pop off those Unites. 31 damage, oh my god. 31 damage, AoE from that Robber Baron. Drop sound, I believe you can lure on, on this, yeah. But you're not even allowed to because that guy's so low. Vegas would die if you didn't use uh, Tune Up on him. So you just gotta tank it. Uh, they do have a Unite available, so they pop that off. I believe everybody's on cooldown. Zap, lure... And you got a zap because it's pace hitter. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Down to the wire on that one. Oh, yeah. Zap still coming before lore. So many gags in this run were going before lore. Uh, the absolute ideal for any run, but especially for a run this <laughs> bonkers. Uh, sound throw drop. You got to do it. Yeah. Get a little bit of throw healing on Vegas there. But still, I mean. These are a lot of big bodies that are throwing out attacks here. Luckily, all single-target attacks. Uh, they're thriving. They're surviving. Uh, squirt Zap. You can kill that guy. You don't have to throw him. Ooh. Again, a bit of a misplay there. Um, it would have been slightly less accurate to squirt the throw rush job, but would have been way more damage prevented. Squirt throw, you can finally get a lure in, and yeah, you can actually survive through this lore because Vegas is only at 46. He'll live on at most two. Oh, and he just healed even. Oh, got another call. <laughs> anyway, back to the video here. Um, give me a little time to react, even. Let's see, we've got the drop, the zap. Uh, you definitely can't zap through that drop rush up, but not too much damage being taken this turn. You could probably survive, depending on how that head honcho attacks. Ooh, yeah. Big quake off a of pace there. More zap rush. Ooh, that's not good. They can't do that. They can't do that, even. Oh? Lord? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second there. Well, I don't have to pause. What they just did is an incredible... They just got um, Hurry Sickness, obviously. That was an incredible strategy. They recognized that they could not complete that rush job because they only have three players. And instead of attacking or doing anything else, they just lured. They lured and they healed. That is a strategy that I've called bracing. Like, brace for impact. Uh, it's a very niche strategy in general gameplay because... You don't really, um, <laughs> you don't really have to do it. You don't really have impossible rush jobs all that often. But, wow, they did it right there perfectly. That was the absolute perfect time to do it. You know, I, I've i never considered it for a three-player run, but yeah, it's incredibly important to go for those types of strategies. They prevented so much damage, um, and they were going to get hurry sickness anyway, so you just got to do it. Sound, sound reset. Uh, very lucky uh, follow up to the forced hurry sickness. Ooh, another zap rush job. Really don't like to see those. Um, and they're at such low HP, but I think they're just going to go for it. Um, they're taking two attack. Oh! Oh, the squirt killed. So they're only taking one attack. And they have a unite on standby, so they got that off. Drop throw. They can finally get an opportunity. No, they can't lure. Oh my god. They can't lure because drop comes after lure. Uh, so they can get a tune-up, though. That's 
Um, about as good. So, oh, I didn't even notice. That's a 17 EXC head honcho. That is terrible to see at the end of your run. And this run has had such great RNG. Uh, I don't... Can they do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I thinking? Then get the zap. Oh. Oh? <laughs> They're not gonna do that. Yeah, I mean... When you've got this many huge cogs staring you down, it's a good idea, even when it's not an impossible rush job, to just lure. Because the damage from hurry sickness is a pretty big amount, but it's AoE. The damage from those cogs could all target into one guy, and then he dies. Even if it's less damage overall, if it all is just killing one tune, then that tune is dead. Because people die when they are killed. Uh, I... Can they even do this one? No, I guess not. Um. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. What am I thinking? The Zap was the one that was at low HP. Yeah, so they bursted through that one, too. Uh, great sound clears, great conditioning, and great bracing. That is not something I thought I was going to see today, or ever, <laughs> for a base at a run. Uh, the Squirt. Squirt kill. Oh, not going for the... Heal on that guy, yeah, you just gotta use a Unite, I guess. Because he would have died if you didn't. But, Pace Center is low enough that any drop guy should kill him now. Even, like, an Encore boosted safe, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that should kill him. And there you go. Holy moly. That is absolutely insane. Um, What can I say? The strategy on show here was incredible. They braced... When they could not do a rush job, they prevented as much damage as possible. They did it even by choice to prevent damage from just big cogs attacking. The RNG was really good, but even right at the end there, the RNG was getting so bad, and they played through it beautifully. Uh, big cogs, really bad, uh, unfavorable rush job sets, and they played through it. I mean, that was an incredible run. That was such a pleasure to watch. I'd have to say, Claire, Vincent, Vargas, uh, Vargas, <laughs> Vegas, absolutely great, fantastic gameplay here. Um, they get a lore off, probably ideal because that because Vegas is at thirty five laugh. Uh, you get the lore off though, so you get to not immediately die after clearing base header. Uh, <laughs> man, this is just this was so. Incredible to watch. Uh, now they're just going to clear out these cogs. Man, that was so, <laughs> so incredible to watch. Uh, and I, w one thing I'd like to note is that they actually did make mistakes at some of these points here. They made some mistakes and they just played through it. You know, they, someone uh, missed a rush. No, no, someone used a band cake. That was it. Uh, Early on in the fight, they incurred a hurry sickness, and they just played through it, you know? I think it's incredible that not only is it possible to trio pace setter, but they did it while making mistakes. It's just, you know, the room for error that they got by playing so well all the rest of the time. They made a couple mistakes. Uh, they missed a few uh, zap kill opportunities. Oh, let's see the loot. Oh, Halloween loot. Yeah, I guess it was around that time. Uh, lots of materials, but nothing uh, nothing else, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they missed a couple opportunities to get zap kills instead of just going for the rush jobs where they could have used the save time to lure. But, I mean, <laughs> what am I going to say? They beat Pace Setter. They beat a trio. That is absolutely wonderful. Uh, my absolute sincerest praise to... These incredible tunes. Again, Claire de Lune, Vegas, uh, uh, Vincent, I believe. Have I already forgotten? Vincent. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Um, even making those mistakes, they played so well. And they got lucky, which, you know, seems like it's not fair. That, oh, they got lucky. That's why they were able to beat this trio. They grinded for that luck, you know? They got, they have attempted this, I assume. Let's see if they actually made it. Or if they actually said, uh, 
Yeah, I wonder. I want to want. I want to say how long. Oh, there's my comment. I want to. I really wonder how many attempts this took because that RNG doesn't happen first try. You know, they got such good RNG, but they reacted to it. Is the big thing. They reacted to a lot of these situations that they missed, and it's just, it was just incredible to watch. Uh, I would definitely give Claire a subscribe. Uh, I believe, actually, uh, yeah, Vincent also posted it. I'll give Vincent a subscribe. Yeah, utterly beautiful. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was a trio pace setter, and Vincent was multi-tuning. I was not ready for that. Absolutely give Vincent a subscribe. Yeah, and there's Claire, easy boss. <laughs> A two-player, three-tune pace setter clear. Absolutely, uh, absolutely astonishing what the community has done. Uh, yeah. I mean, what more is there to say? You saw it. I saw it. That was a great run. Ads. Yeah, I don't think there's ads on this. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's nothing really more I can say. Just... It was incredible. Please subscribe to these players. Ooh, max damage, TNT, and pace sitter. Let me watch that. Please subscribe to these channels. Uh, and remember, Tunes of the World, be patient. You can just wait for a fourth, per for for a four fourth person to show up. You don't have to do all this. Thank you.